make of uh, speaking of Tim uh, Sapamasan, I think he made the point yesterday or somewhere that uh, the Racial Discrimination Commission or Commissioner should, firstly, the title should be not changed and the job descriptive should not change either. Australians uh, need a commissioner like him uh, and we must be as a society ready to stand up against any efforts to change it. Uh, are you persuaded by the, the notion that we do need a racial discrimination commissioner? Well, um, Tim's, uh, Tim's position wouldn't be relevant if there wasn't racism. So what Tim has to do is prove that there is racism, establish it all. In fact, he doesn't prove anything. He just asserts it. So what he says is, look, over here, there's racism. Now you need a race, a race commissioner to deal with that sort of thing. Um, the fact is, Australia is way, way less racist than it ever was, yes. or ever has been in its history. Spot on. And we can we can all um, remember, if not from personal experience, at least from history, yeah. the white Australia policy. Mm. Now, you know, we abandon that. We welcome immigrants from all over the world. They integrate if they want to integrate, and that's that's really the uh, the issue that has upset some people, and some don't. But um, but if if they want to integrate, uh, they are welcomed, and there's no uh, rejection of anybody on the basis of race whatsoever. Mm. Now you probably do get individuals who are racist, but um, as a society, we are far from a racist uh, a racist community. I, I I spent some time living in South Africa during the apartheid era. I saw racism up close and personal, yeah. and it is not at all nice. And we have no resemblance of anything like that in Australia. We could do without Tim, save the money, and and uh, get on with life. And we, nobody would miss him. Nobody would you would miss anybody in that position. Yes, because there's just not enough racism to to worry about. And I reckon, David, that we uh, are much better now at calling this stuff out. Mind you, the the Jed Carneys of the world who refer to the white white middle aged male seemingly get away with uh, too much, but. Mm. We are, aren't we, a nation of people that are prepared to turn the other cheek? I, I don't know where the quick get offended thing came from. Maybe there's too much of that in society now, or we just know or look for the people that uh, that act in that way. But uh, it, it is a pretty decent society in, in, the, in the main, and to suggest otherwise, well, you're almost justifying a position, I think, in Tim's case, aren't you? But that, that's what he's doing. He's trying to justify the the maintenance, the, the preservation of the race discrimination mm. uh, commissioner. Mm. And, um, yes, I mean, uh, uh, we are a very tolerant society. We we are easygoing. We are known all over the world by people who know us as easygoing, easy to get on with, as long as people feel that when they come here, they're willing to integrate and get along like with their fellow Australians. Yes. The only people that we get up, uppity about are the ones who say, well, now I'm here... Um, I want to be behave just like I did in the country I came from, and I don't want to mix with other uh, my fellow Australians. That's yeah, the only people. Yeah. They're the only times that we get uh, indignant. Yeah, spot uh, on. Everybody else, it doesn't matter where they come from, what age they are, what gender they are, what colour they are. If they want to be Australians and and uh, mix with their fellow Australians, they are welcome. And there's yeah. so much evidence for that. Yeah. You know, it can't it can't be disputed by the likes of Tim. Yeah. You are the voice of reason. Good to talk to you, David. Stay well. Thank you.